what we're doing is that we're looking at the list to determine if the circumstances of the people who are on the list have changed. And if they've changed, then to make sure that we put the people who deserve to be on the list on the list. Um, and also part of the, the assessment would be to see if they need a different kind of intervention too. So for example, we might be assessing a household and we're giving one person in the house the support and we may find that two people need the support. So I'm saying the number may not necessarily go down, but that the list will be more accurate. But I've also been very clear that it's been, I mean, we all know it, that there are people who, whose circumstances have changed. Some people are working because we've seen the evidence from the NAS and so on. Um, we know that they're working, but that the records do not reflect that they're working. And so they benefit from welfare when they should not be benefiting from welfare. And that those persons realistically, in all fairness, should be off the list and allow somebody else who should benefit to be on the list. So if that is the case, then the simple solution would be to take them off the list. If it is that you are not deserving of welfare, then allow somebody else to get the welfare. Who, you know, but it will also be the reverse circumstance where some people may end up with additional benefits too. So I'm not only seeking to take off, I'm just seeking to clean, to clean the list. Now I've had people come to me, they've been receiving the household mitigation grant, which was $600. They were receiving support from the welfare department. They're receiving support from a lot of these NGOs who give um, support. Some would be benefiting from what we call agency shopping. So they come to welfare, they come to childcare, they come to NAB, they come directly to the ministry. And the combined support is so much that they definitely shouldn't be receiving that level of support. So I want to make a plea for those persons who are going to stop it. But if they're not going to stop it on their own, then it is the government's duty to stop it. Just to be fair to the people who deserve to be on the list.